Have you ever been in one of those awkward situations at a business networking event perhaps where someone comes up to you and says, so what do you do? Do you have an answer? Is it clear? Do you scramble around to try and find the words and explain the complexity of what you do in your business and how you help people in all the various services that you can offer? Donald Miller, author of Building a Story Brand says time and time again, if you confuse, you lose. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing a super effective and valuable exercise that you can do to clarify your marketing message and maximize the impact for your business. G'day guys, I'm Ben Amos from Engage Video Marketing and on this channel I share tips, tricks and strategies to help you engage your ideal audience to action. So if that sounds valuable to you, then hit that subscribe button and then the bell so you don't miss each new video as it drops. And in this video, over the next few minutes, we're going to get really tactical and practical as I share with you a methodology that I use when I'm working with my coaching clients and our video marketing clients in order to help them get clear on communicating what it is that they actually do and how they actually help people. Because let's face it, in business, if you can't clearly and quickly communicate what you do and why it matters to a prospective customer, then you have the potential to confuse and lose. So grab a notepad or download the template which you can grab in the description below this video and let's run through my one for one method because by the end of this process, you're gonna end up with a very clear, simple and concise statement that describes exactly what you do and why it matters for your ideal customer. All right, the one for one method is about brain dumping your ideas onto one page in a structured way and then refining that down to four specific sentences before finishing up with your one sentence statement that perfectly sums up your value proposition for your business. Okay, one for one, let's dive in. So the first step, the one, is to write basically a single page outline of who it is that you help in your business and how you help them achieve the outcomes that you achieve. And we're gonna break this page down into four main paragraphs. So the first paragraph, you're gonna just offload everything that you can write about who it is that you help, your audience. The first paragraph is all about really getting clear and specific on who your ideal audience, your ideal customer actually is. And here we're not gonna be writing about loose demographics like they're you know, a 30 to 40 year old male who lives in a particular geographical region. You need to get specific so that you can almost paint a picture of a single person who is your ideal customer, your ideal client. And it's valuable here to potentially even describe a day in their life. Like, so what do they do when they get up? Or how do they live their life? What are they going through in their life? What does their life look like? Because when you can picture that person that you're able to help, then you can get really clear on the language that you need to use in order to reach that person correctly in your marketing and communications. So your first brain dump of a paragraph on the page is going to be about who do you help? Next. The second paragraph, here you're gonna write down as much as you can get clear on about what are the problems that that person faces. So what are they like before they ever come and do business with you or use your products or your services? And importantly here, we wanna be focusing in on both the internal and the external problems that they face. So internal problems are what's going through their heads and their hearts, how are they feeling? What keeps them up at night? You know, what are the day-to-day -day thoughts that they're having around the problem that they have that you can help solve? How are they feeling internally about that? And then the external problem is, how do those internal problems kind of show up in their real life? What are the physical, real-world things that are happening in their lives that are causing dissatisfaction that they find themselves in at this stage? And when we get really clear on these and we emphasize that the problem that they're facing then we can start to contrast this against the next paragraph. Because next, we're going to write about the outcome. So what does life look like after they've done business with you, or they've worked with you, or they've had your product in their hands? So you're gonna brainstorm here the outcome of doing business with you. So again, you wanna focus on both the internal and the external. Internally, how are they feeling about their life now? What does their new normal look like? And then externally, you know, how's that showing up in their day-to-day -day life? What do they have? What are they surrounded by? Who are the people that they're engaging with? These are external things. 
So again, you wanna be super clear here. Take some time now to picture what your ideal customer's life looks like now, after they've done business with you. And it's also helpful here to consider future pacing as well, which means painting a picture of what their future might hold now and contrast it to what their future potentially held prior to doing business with you. So what's the cost potentially of not doing business with you? not working with your brand or business. It's a really powerful thought experiment to go through on this page here and write down what does the future hold now that they've done business with you. And then the fourth paragraph or section of this page of brain dumping is all about how you actually help them. So what's the process of transformation that you take them through? So what I mean by that is what's your process? What's your framework or your superpower in business and how do you actually work with your clients to get that result? The outcome that we've just gained clarity on. How does that transformation actually take place? You can think of the transformation as like the vehicle that allows people to get from A to B, from that point of dissatisfaction that we outlined earlier to the satisfaction or the positive outcome that we outlined earlier as well. The transformation becomes the vehicle that gets them from one place to the other. And that's the way that you help them do that. So get really clear here in this fourth paragraph of how you actually help your clients. Okay, well done. That's step one of the 141 method. You should now have a full page at least with some pretty clear information written down around those four key aspects of your messaging. And it's action time now. So if you really wanna get results from this video, and clarify your message. I encourage you right now to pause this video, grab that template in the description, or just grab a piece of paper and get these four paragraphs down. Go ahead, pause it. I'll be here when you get back. Okay, now here's where things really get fun. The second step of the 141 method is all about distilling your longer paragraphs down into a single sentence each, four sentences in total. So you'll end up with one sentence about who your ideal audience is. You'll end up with a second sentence about what problems they're facing before they work with you. And then the third sentence is about what does their life look like after they've worked with you or what's the outcome of working with you. And then the fourth sentence is how do you help them? What's the method of transformation? This process sounds easy, but it rarely is. You've put some detailed thought into those first four paragraphs and now I'm asking you to decide on which parts are most relevant or most impactful for your ideal audience to hear from you. You want them to read these sentences and say to themselves, oh, you get me, or it's like you're inside my head. So if you're playing along at home, now's the time to pause this video again and work on crafting your powerful four sentences. I'm looking forward to hearing how you go. Right, let's bring the 141 method home with step number three. So the challenge now is to be a bit of a wordsmith and really massage the ideas that you've distilled into those four sentences into a concise single sentence statement that will become your clear message of what it is that you do. This may require a bit of drafting, refining and tweaking. But let me tell you, when you've worked through this process properly, that final statement that you're ending up with here should be a very powerful tool for your communications and marketing. If you're ready for step three, then pause the video now and get that single sentence written. And when we come back, I'm gonna share some real world examples of this process to help you understand how powerful this framework can be. So how'd you go? Can you do me a favor and drop your single sentence statement for your business into the comments below? I'd love to celebrate with you and see how this process has worked for you. I wanna share with you now some real world examples of these clarity statements. Now I'm not going to share with you the entire page of notes from step one or the four sentences distilled in step two, but I am gonna share with you the outcome of this process, which was for these businesses, their single brand statement that I helped them develop. The first example here was from a mortgage broker. Now, this mortgage broker has a fairly unique process of being able to work with clients remotely in many cases to help them get in a position to be able to be successful in seeking funding to get into a property. So he has a very unique process here and I wanted to help him define it down so that they differentiated him from other mortgage brokers 
who work in more traditional ways. And here's the sentence that we came up with. And I want you to pay attention for those four key things that we've talked about in the one for one method and see how we've distilled it down into one impactful sentence. Okay, so here's the first example from the mortgage broker. We help first home buyers and new investors who are wary, confused and overwhelmed by property financing to avoid the red tape and secure their ideal loan terms through our five-step loan readiness online program and personal lending concierge service. Are you with me? Okay, let's break that example down. We help first home buyers and new investors. That's the first step. That's the audience, who their ideal audience is, who are wary, confused and overwhelmed by property financing. So that's their problem. That's where they are before they work with you. They're wary, overwhelmed and confused to avoid the red tape and secure their ideal loan terms. So that's the outcome that they've avoided, red tape, and they've secured their ideal loan terms. Through our five-step loan readiness online program and personal lending concierge service. So that right there is the vehicle of transformation. That's how they help people through that process. It's clear, right? So let's break this down with another example. And this example is a personal trainer. She's She's kind of a personal trainer slash life coach. So she doesn't just work on fitness, she also works on the internal stuff as well. So it's very powerful, she's very good at what she does, but she was really not good at communicating how it is that she does this for people. So together we worked on creating this single brand statement using the one for one method. Again, look for the four stages of this process as we go through this statement. I empower time poor new mums who are feeling run down, unmotivated, and with poor self-esteem to love their body and thrive in a busy life by developing new daily habits in health, happiness, and higher self. Can you spot the four phases of the 141 played out here? So I hope this has been useful to you. I hope it's a process that you can understand how to use both in your own business or if you work with other businesses on clarifying their marketing, then you can apply this process with them too. Once you have your brand statement and you're happy with it, this statement can be used on your website, in your sales conversations, when you meet people at networking events, in a phone script, and of course, to inform your video marketing too. And speaking of video marketing, that's where I want you to go next. So watch this video right here to continue your growth as a clever marketer. I'll see you on that one.